Jira Basics, Module 5, Versions and Components. In Modules 1, 2, 3 and 4, we looked at installing Jira, the concept of Jira issues and projects, and we've examined what labels and priorities are and how we can use those to categorize our issues. In Module 4, we looked at workflow and status and how we can transition our issues through a workflow and how those issues have different status values. In this module, Module 5, we're going to look at versions of components and we're going to see how we can link our issues to different versions, different components and categorize issues based on those two properties. And then in the final two modules, six and seven, we'll look at dashboards and reports and we'll finish up with some advanced search capabilities as we go through this searching features within Jira. So the main learning objectives for this particular module, four key objectives. Firstly, understand why we need versions and components. Secondly, learn how to configure versions and components for your projects. Thirdly, see how you specify and define versions and components when you create or update your issues. And fourthly, we're going to see how you can search for issues based on those two parameters, versions and components. So we've seen how an issue can be defined and created within a project. And we've also seen how you can categorize and group those issues by assigning them labels, assigning them priorities, and assigning them a status value and that status if value indicating where a particular issue might be within the workflow that it transitions through. So another aspect or a couple of data parameters you can track for your issues are versions and components. So what are versions and components? Well, a component is a way that we can logically group issues within our project. So you can think of it as a subgroup within a project. So we have a hierarchy, we have a project, a project has many issues and many issues can be assigned to a particular component. So in this example here, we have a project which is our website issues and we've split that into two groups of components. We have the contact us component and we have the products component and we then assign those issues to a component. And in that way, you could potentially assign a project lead to deal with all of those issues for a component. So that when a, an issue gets created for a particular component, it's automatically assigned to that project lead to deal with that issue. So one project can have many components and a component can be associated with many issues. Just think of a component as a subcategory within your project and it allows you to break down that project into smaller parts. So what is a version then? Well, think of a version as the order in which you want to see those issues completed. You know, to start with, you might be aiming to release version one of your product or project and the issues that you want to complete as part of that version one release will be assigned to version one. And when all those issues have been assigned to version one and are completed, you then release that version and you move on to all of the issues linked to, to version two. What slightly complicates the concept of versions is that you can have uh, two version values assigned to an issue though. You can have the effects version and the fixed version, where the effects version is the version of the product or project where you found the issue and the fixed version is the version identifier that you've allocated that you want to see the issue resolved or fixed in. So the fixed version you may decide a particular issue needs to be fixed and completed for a specific version, in which case you set that fixed version for the issue. Both are optional, so you may have an issue with a fixed version but no effects version, or you may have an issue with an effects version and you don't define a a fixed version until you're ready to perhaps. Before we go through and look at how to set versions and components 
for your issues. You'll notice that there are no version and component fields on the issue that you're seeing here. And even if we go to the edit screen to update and modify this particular issue, you'll notice that there are no version and component fields. So the first thing we need to do is enable versions and components for this particular project. And you can do that from the project configuration and project settings area, clicking on the cog icon in the left hand panel. And on this page, you'll see in the project settings areas that there's two options, versions and components. So if we click on the components value, you'll see that there is a panel here which enables us to add components. So we're going to go for something really creative, component one with some description. And you'll notice here that you can assign this component to a particular user of JIRA so that they automatically get assigned as the default assignee. Or if you don't want this assigned to somebody in the first instance, you can just select the unassigned there. So we'll click on add. We'll add a couple more components. Component do, uh, description, component. So that gives us two components within our project, and that's two component values we can link to, to our issues. Next then we want to set up some versions. Under the version section of the project settings then, we can add our version names. Again, we're going to be really creative, version one. And some description, version one. And we'll add one more, well we'll add two more version numbers, so we can add version two. And version two and one final version version three so we've defined these versions for our project and these are specified at a project level and now if we go back and look at the issues for this particular project we'll see that we have another set of fields available to us in the details section of the issues. And we can either click directly onto these and edit them and add values directly from this panel, or we can click on the edit button. And during the edit process, we could update components. Now notice that you can have one or more components assigned to a particular issue. So we could have component two in here. And from here, because of the way we've configured this particular project, we can add new components directly from here. So I could add component three as a new component directly in here. If we save this particular issue, then we'll see that this proj-7 issue has been updated and is now associated with three different components. What's really useful here is that if we click on the component, JIRA will take us directly to a search criteria which lists all of the issues that have been linked to component one. So if you were the assigned person for this particular component, you could quickly carry out a search and you could see that we've got at the moment just one issue assigned to component one. If we go back to our, our issue here and we start to look at the versions then, you'll notice that the effects version and fix version fields here um, enable us to link two version values to this particular JIRA issue. By default though, you can't edit these. And in fact, even if you edit this issue, you won't find those version fields listed on this screen. So without going into a lot of detail about how to configure JIRA, the quickest way to resolve this is to look at the configure fields, select where is my field, type in version and we can select effects version to start with and JIRA gives us an indication of what's wrong here. So this particular field is not displayed on this screen and it says rather helpfully that we can solve this problem by going to the project management screen and under the administration area of JIRA, once I've entered my password, we can see a list of the fields that are displayed 
on that particular screen that we were just looking at. And from here we can add effects version and we can add the fix version. Once though you've been added, if we refresh or we return to our JIRA issue and we refresh this page, and edit the issue, we should now see that we have at the bottom of the screen effects version and fixed version. So typically what will happen here is the effects version is we'll raise a new issue, we'll define an effects version, version 1 for example, so we found this issue, it's tracked against version 1 of the product that was released to our customers, and then a later state as we work through the workflow here to do, so maybe we start progress transition this into an in-progress state and then we click the done button and we fix the issue and at this stage we would probably want to link in here the fix version that we actually fixed it in and release the, the fix. So we might set this as version 2. Note that as we build up more complex workflow and state transition models in JIRA that we can actually enforce the setting of these fixed versions and fixed version fields so that we force the user to capture those. At the moment with this basic default workflow configuration these fields are optional as you transition through the, the status and the workflow values. In the same way that we could click on a component value under the component section we can click on version 2 for example and JIRA will directly take us to a list built from the search criteria where we specified the fixed version as version 2. So this makes it really easy for us to see a list of the issues that are fixed and are going into a particular version that we're releasing to a, to a customer or a client. So we've seen how we can update the versions and the components when editing or modifying an issue. It goes without saying then that you should be able to edit or add version and component values when you create a new issue. But again, we're presented with the same issue we had just now. Those fields are not specified on the default screen. You can use the configure fields, where's my field? Specify components, for example. And Jira identifies why that particular field is not displayed. And we can click on the project management link and in here we can add that components field and we can add the versions fields. Effects version and the fixed version. Once we've returned then to our entry page and we create a new issue, this time round what we should see after we've entered some of the mandatory information is that we now have components and we have the effects and the fixed version. So maybe this effects version 2. We don't define the fixed version, create the issue and we have a new issue related to component 1 and version 2. So in creating those two issues, we've seen how to categorize issues by component and version. Now with the standard JIRA search and filter capabilities, we can see how we can start to focus in on issues that really matter to us. Perhaps issues that are only related to a particular component or a particular version, or a particular component and a particular version. So if we pull up the search criteria here, we can see that we're looking for issues in project one. We have the status set to all, and we have the fixed version field that we can set here. So we can set that to version one, or we can set that to other versions. So I might want to look for all issues that are related to version two and version one as the fixed version. If we want to add in the components then, you can add the component criteria to our search. And from here we could say, I want to look at all of my issues in this particular project that are either fixed version one or two and are related to the components one or two. 
And at the moment that brings up one issue and you can see here effects version one and fix version two and the components that this particular issue is related to. Another useful trick here, if we clear those filter criteria, is to set things up based on the effects version and perhaps we're looking for issues that have affected versions one and two and we have pulled up two issues there and we can say from here that we want to do a bulk update and we know that we've resolved the issues and that they're ready to be released in version three so we could set both of those as part of the bulk update and the one field we want to update then is the is the fixed version. We can add a fixed version value of version three as part of that bulk update. Click on next, confirm the update. And those two issues now are lumped in together as part of the release for version three and the resolved issues in version three. Again, if we come back to our search criteria, we remove effects version, add fixed version and now we can pull up from our fixed version search a list of all of the issues that are fixed in version 3 which is the two that we've just updated. So in this module then our key learning objectives were to look at why we needed versions and components and we've seen how we can use those to categorize our issues within a project in terms of the component they're related to and a version they might be or might have been identified in and we might want to resolve and fix the issues in. We've seen how we can configure those versions and components as part of the project configuration and settings area within JIRA and we've seen how to specify those versions and components when creating issues or modifying issues. We've also had a quick look at the search criteria within JIRA and we've seen how to add those fixed version, effects version and components search criteria to our searches to bring up specific sets of issues that we're interested in. And that concludes module five of our JIRA basics course where we've looked at versions and components. In module six, we'll start to look at dashboards and reports and we'll see how we can add widgets and gadgets to the JIRA dashboards so that we can get a one page view of the status of our projects and we can build reports that show us the status of those projects too.